this is Jeff Renz. I'd like to speak about some of the features that we have on our Shiny R dashboard with the coronavirus data. If you move to the trend tab, you will see new cases plotted across time. The label on the top does represent the actual new cases for the day. The orange line represents the trend. You'll notice that the labels are horizontal. If you move the slider to say 30, you will see that the plot changes and that the labels move to vertical. Another thing we were able to program in R was with the scale, we didn't want it to exceed 75% of the chart. So that's a nice feature that we had in R. If we move to the next tab, COVID-19 versus the flu, we just wanted to highlight it's really easy and shiny R to embed YouTube content. This embedded video provides interesting context about the reproduction number or not, the incubation period being five to 14 days, and that you're actually contagious before you feel sick. Next tab I'd like to talk about is the situation report from who. So we're actually able to embed PDF files very easily again into Shiny R. What's nice about this is users could come to one location to view updates from other sources and not have to click and download data from different links or things popping up in other windows. Nice thing about this who situation report is it does provide highlights from the past day and even guidance. The dashboard includes a world map using leaflet library output to geographically show the number of confirmed cases globally. One can click on the spots to see locally defined additional information about the local CFR. It's based on data provided by the 2019 Novel Coronavirus COVID-19 Data Repository by John Hopkins CSSE. We also have a link to the Kinza map. This map uses data collected from IoT smart thermometers or self-reported via device app human temperature to identify regions where people with fever levels are relatively high. This tab shows the details by the numbers for the specific country selected by state, the date of the report, total cases, new cases since last report, new case rates, total deaths, new deaths since last report, and case fatality rates. Each column can be sorted in an ascending or descending manner. The number of entries displayed on the page can be selected using this drop-down menu. And the search bar can be used to locate a specific state or province within the country. Sorting the data by number of total cases in descending order, one can see that the state of New York has the highest number of total cases as of this date. What should one know about COVID-19? This tab provides information about this disease. Coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by a novel coronavirus called SARS-CoV-2. Symptoms can include fever, tiredness, dry cough, sore throat, difficulty breathing, nausea, diarrhea, body aches, loss of smell or taste. It's important to avoid being exposed to this virus, so for prevention, wash your hands regularly with soap and water, and if not possible, clean hands with alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Avoid touching your face, especially your mouth, nose, or eyes with unwashed hands. Cover coughs and sneezes with a tissue or use the inside of your elbow. Throw used tissues in the trash and wash hands immediately. Clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces regularly. Stay home if you are sick, except to get medical care. Practice physical distancing by avoiding unnecessary travel and staying away from large groups of people. For more information on COVID-19, including what to do if you are sick, see CDC and WHO websites.